and fellow bookworms to Tibra's Den. My name is Whitney, and this is our first unboxing um, video, book haul video, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is going to be done in clips because I am impatient and I cannot wait until all the items get here. So I have the first package. Um, I had to actually run in and pick it up. So yesterday we were in the bigger city. We kind of live in a small town and we went to the bigger city. And I wanted to go get Starbucks um, and we totally just forgot about it. And so today I had to settle for a caramel iced coffee from McDonald's. We call it McBarf, but McDonald's, um, and it is at least something. So I ran into town, I picked up the haul, and got myself a nice coffee, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, this is the first, um, package from the post office, and there's two more coming, so I will do those in separate clips once they get here, but I couldn't wait, especially because this package makes noise <laughs> and it, I picked it up and it like surprised me um I'm pretty sure I know which book it is that is making the noise and it's one of the ones that I'm not gonna show in this video because it's part of a different video um and so I don't want to show it here but maybe you can guess what it is based on the noise um, I would love to see your guesses down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get right into this. I didn't bring scissors or anything, so we're just going to kind of manhandle it and see what we got here. So, really excited for this package. Um, let's see here. So, okay, it's definitely the book I thought it was that was making noise. Like I said, I didn't realize it was, but you got to... All kinds of noises, so um, really excited to talk about this book, like I said, in an upcoming video. So we're going to set that one aside, and then fortunately one of the other ones also is for the other video I'm going to be filming, so you're going to have to wait for that one as well, um, but really excited for that. And it kind of is along the same theme of the other one, it's by the same author and everything like that. Um, so really excited. So we're going to set that one aside. And unfortunately, there's only one other book in this package. And so like I said, you know, I really wanted to do them all at once. But especially when it was making noises, like I, ju I just couldn't wait. So <laughs> the next book, though, that's in this package is uh, Secret Star by Nora Roberts. And so this is the third book of the Stars of Mithra series. And this is the only series of hers I don't have. So um, you can guess maybe the other two of them that are in the other package. But yeah, this is one of the only series I didn't have. It was my birthday recently. And so um, in addition to getting some books for the other video, I got some books that I wanted to get as well. And so really excited to have this one. I have read this before, but I just, I never got the series for whatever reason, which really, really surprises me because um, I've been working on collecting her series and I thought I had every series and I didn't. So we're, we're now we now we do. Um, we're still missing a few standalone books, but I have a list here of all her publications. I printed it out and you can see, you know, it's mostly filled in. Um, so this one on this first page here, I am missing Summer Desserts, which is apparently a great chef's books, but I do have lessons learned. And that, I believe, is in, like, a combo with another book. Like, you know how they'll release older works, like, in combination with another older work? That's, you know, how I got lessons learned. And I made sure I went through those and saw what books were in those, you know, combination works. And so, yeah, so I have lessons learned, but I don't have summer desserts. That is definitely on my wish list, and I am going to get it. Like I said, I was trying to not spend too much money <laughs> getting books, even though I got these from thrift books. Uh, so, you know, you can get a really good deal. I was still trying to just not go too crazy. And then the other one is the uh, Celebrity Magazine books, and I don't have one summer. And then the Sacred Sin books, I have Brazen Virtue, but I don't have Sacred Sins. 
and I thought I did though so I'm kind of surprised that that wasn't on my shelf when I was going through because I was pretty sure I had both of those but maybe it just got misplaced sometime during the moving and whatnot I don't know but I'll have to get that one so there's only three now on this first page um, that I don't have and so I'm really excited to fill that in I'll probably work on that first the second one um, is a bunch of you know her different series again and I have all of these filled in. So you have her O'Hurley book, her Loving Jack books, Time and Again. I love those two. Um, that series is really enjoyable. The Stalinskys, the Calhoun Women, the Night Tell books, and then the Donovan Legacy books. So have all those. And then let's see here. On this one, I don't. It's not filled in because I don't like the JD Rob books. I have one JD Rob book and I kept it because I just kept it. I might try reading it because I haven't tried reading. Like I read that one around the same time I got Chesapeake Blue, and I never went back and reread it. So I might try to reread it, see if I enjoy it more as an adult now or not. Um, but I do have the. Concannon, Concannon Sisters, you know, the Born in Fire, Born in Ice, and Born in Shame trilogy. I love those books. Those are really good. Haven't reread them in a while, so that's definitely something I need to do. Um, and then again, I have, you know, more J.D. Robb, but I have the McCabe Brothers, and then the Dream tri trilogy is on the next page. Um, so Daring to Dream, Holding the Dream, and Finding the Dream, and then the Stars of Mithra, I don't have, but I'm getting, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight Secret Star. I'm not going to highlight the others yet, just in case something happens in the mail. Um, I want to make sure that I have it noted that I don't have them in my possession yet. So when they get here, then I'll go ahead and highlight those. The Chesapeake Bay Saga, which is, like I said, Chesapeake Blue was the very first book I read of hers, and it was my first, like, adult book that I read and that's what made me fall in love with her. Um, the Gallagher's of Ardmore series, Three Sisters, Three Sisters Island series is another good one. The Key Trilogy, I love that one as well. Um, in the Garden Books, Blue Delilah, Black Rose, Red Lily, those are another one that are really good. I again haven't reread those in a while so I do need to revisit those. Uh, Ooh, the Circle Trilogy books. I really like those. Um, Morgan's Cross, Dance of the Gods, Valley of Silence. That one, if you're more like into fantasy um, and maybe like a little bit darker fantasy books, those are really, really good. Uh, and then The Sign of Seven, same thing. Same kind of theme there. And you got Blood Brothers, The Hollow, and then The Pagan Stone. And those ones, again, are really enjoyable. And so if like I said, Nora Roberts, what I like about her is she's not just, like, romance. Like, she does other stuff. So, like I said, if you kind of like, like dark fantasy books with a little bit of romance in there, those are the books for you. The Bride Quartet, I love those books. Um, I've read those several times as well. And I've actually reread those fairly recently. Probably one of my most recent rereads of hers. Um, the Inns Boonesboro, those are good. The Cousins O'Dwyer Trilogy, <laughs> again, very, very good, kind of more fantasy-based. The Guardians Trilogy, that's one of my favorites as well, so, um, I mean, they're all so good. The Chronicles of the One books, I actually just read these, um, all three of them I read with my husband. Uh, at night, we would read aloud. I, I would read aloud sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I would have him read aloud, like... There were some things that would make me cry, um, and so I would just pass the book to him because I'd be crying and I couldn't read aloud, and then once I kind of composed myself, then he would pass the book back to me, but that's a good one, and again, you know, dark kind of fantasy vibes there, so that's a good one if you want to read. The Dragonheart Legacies, I have The Awakening, we haven't read it yet, that's another one I want to read with my husband and he prefers to have the whole set um, and that way we can just read book after book after book and the becoming it doesn't come out till November so I'll definitely be getting that one and then we'll just have to wait for the third one and then we have our standalone novels and so I have Blythe Images, The Heart's Victory, Island of Flowers, Search for Love, Songs of the West and From This Day 
And then I have like two from 1983 that I don't have. Her Mother's Keeper and Once More with Feeling. I don't have those ones. But then I have this magic moment tonight and always. So I have most of her books. Untamed, Endings and Beginnings, First Impressions, and then in 1984, The Law is a Lady. I don't have that one. So I need to get that one. Um, and then Less of a Stranger, A Matter of Choice, Opposites Attract. And then I don't have Promise Me Tomorrow or Rules of the Game. So I need to get those two. And those were published as Published in 1984, too. Um, and then Storm Warning, Boundary Lines, Dual Image, Partners, The Right Path, The Art of Deception, Risky Business, Treasures Lost, Treasures Found. I have all those. I Need a Will and a Way, which was published in 1986. I have Mind Over Matter, Hot Ice, Temptation. Those were published in 1987. Then I have, I need, rather, Local Hero, The Name Game, which were both published in 88. Um... I have Gabrielle's Angel, I Need Sweet Revenge, which was published in 1989, but I do have The Welcoming, I Need Impulse, which again was 1989, I do have Public Secrets, I Need Genuine Lies, though, which was a 1991 book, and Carnal Innocence, which I thought I had Carnal Innocence, too, but again, some of these I, like, got from the library and read. Um, and so I might be thinking of when I had them from the library, but that's a 1991 version, or, you know, publication as well. Then I have Divine Evil, Honest Illusions, Unfinished Business, I Need Private Scandals, which was published in 1993. Um, then I have Hidden Riches, True Betrayals, Montana Sky, um, Sanctuary, Homeport, The Reef, I Need River's End, which was a 1999 one, and again, I thought I had that one. But couldn't find it. And they're all organized. So it, it, if it was there, it would be there. I do have Carolina Moon, though. And then I have the rest of them all up to 2021 with Legacy. So I have all the rest of those. Uh, short stories, novellas. I have most of them. Other than All I Want for Christmas, Remember When, and Wolf Moon. I don't have any of those. But I have the rest. And then anthologies, I only have two. I have Mysterious, um, and there's actually more that goes along with it. There's another one called uh, Suspicious, which isn't on this list, which I thought was odd, but I do have Suspicious as well, and Western Skies. I need the Harlequin Hysterical Christmas Stories and Silent Night, um, and then there's a, a bunch more on this page that are the anthologies, but you can see I have most of like her standalone novels and her series which I have the all the series now once I get the other two books for this so I know that got a little bit longer than I planned um but I just got so excited to talk about what books I have of Nora Roberts I absolutely love her and I can't wait to complete her collection and then continue to get you know her new works as they come along um and then I might work on some of my other collections like I have a bunch of Irish Johansson books that I probably want to get more of because um, I really enjoy hers and I've read several from the library and I just don't have them on my shelf. So I'm going to leave it right here for now and when I get the next two packages I'll jump back in and show you the books that I got in those packages. Again you already know two of them um, but there's another one and then there's a couple that are going to be for a separate video but hopefully you can see my excitement um but i'm gonna leave you for now and for me who knows how long it'll be will be just a few seconds for you so i'll see you in a, just a second all right so for me it's been about two days but the packages finally arrived they both arrived on the same day i was so excited i was anxiously waiting uh the last package i actually had to run into town because we weren't home when they delivered it and they had to bring it up to the door where these two they left in the mailbox so I was waiting and waiting and then I was like the mail should have been here by now and I looked and it had been delivered at the mailbox so I ran down there uh, picked up the packages and the one our mailbox is very rustic it kind of has a screw and it did get damaged as I was pulling it out the books look fine um there is damage to one but um you know that's what it is but I went ahead and just pulled open both packages so I wasn't struggling on stream. And these two, or these three, there's three in each one. These three are actually, again, you know, I couldn't show you a couple from the previous package. Um, these three are ones I can't show you.
but I'm just going to show you a little bit, um, kind of a little sneak preview. But I did get these from Thrift Books, um, and I got most of them in, I think, very good condition, and one in acceptable, and I'm assuming this is the one that was in acceptable. You can see this is damaged here. Um, which is a shame, but that really doesn't bother me. I mean, you've seen some of my damaged books, you know, here on, sh on this channel. So that doesn't bother me too bad. The pages themselves are in good shape. And actually, this one, um, I'm going to try to show without giving it too much away. Um, but this one actually, let's see if I can, like, finagle this, has, um, an autograph on it. I don't know if you can see that right there. It has an autograph on it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's not something I was expecting. So that's pretty cool. I might have just showed you that, but that's okay. Just a little hint of what's to come. And so I got that one, which goes along with one of the others I got. Um, oops, I'm dropping them. But so, and this one is kind of a, a thicker book, you can see. Uh, and this goes along with that one. And again, you can see it's a little bit damaged. Um, this is kind of like a hardcover. And so it is bent up a little bit. But again, it's from Thrift Books. And that's not something that bothers me so much. Uh, again, the pages look good. No dog ears or anything like that. So um, that's pretty, pretty cool. And so that goes with that one. And then I got one more that's, uh, let's see, this is a trilogy, and I think this is actually, there's a fourth book, but I just got the trilogy because it's really just the first book that I'm interested in anyway. I might get the fourth book later on down the line, but it was like 50 bucks to get like the whole set, so I just got the trilogy because it was much more affordable, and I didn't really care about that fourth book. So like I said, those are going to be in a different video. So hopefully you are subscribed and have the bell notification on so you don't miss that. And then we got three more books here in this little package. And so I got the other two that go with Secret Star that we pulled from the last package. And so we got Hidden Star and Captive Star. So it goes Hidden Star then Captive Star, and then Secret Star. And so now I have all of the the trilogies that Nora Roberts, or the sagas, because like some of them have four books. Um, like the Bride Quartet has four books. Chesapeake Bay Saga has four books. But now I have all of her ones that go together. Because I also got um, this one, which is Rebellion. And this is actually... It looks like it's written from the um, like the time in 1745. And so I have the rest of the McGregor books, which is like more current time. And so I didn't even know about this one until I printed out the list. And then I printed out the list and I saw it and I was like, I'm missing a McGregor book. Like what? And so I went ahead and picked up this one as well. So I have that complete collection as well. Cat snuck in. So if you hear her sneezing, she's just sniffing around and probably getting dust up her nose, so, but anyway, really, really excited about this, so now I can just focus on her standalone novels, and I'm gonna go ahead and mark, you know, off what I got today, but yeah, that was, these are the ones I can show you, and then there are, um, five other ones that I got in this haul that I can't show you, because they're for different videos, two of which are trilogies, so that's pretty exciting. And I also recently got from Amazon uh, a four box set of one of my favorite childhood books and then another one of my favorite childhood books that's just single, but really excited. Um, and I didn't video the Amazon one because at that time, you know, those were for a specific video. And so I wasn't planning on doing a book haul or anything like that, but I say this was definitely a pretty good birthday and I'm so excited to reread the these ones and read this one for the first time. Um, I'm definitely going to have to reread the rest of the McGregor books because obviously, you know, got to refresh my memory. 
but really excited to take a look at this one, especially since it is kind of set so far in the past. Like, I think that's going to be really fun. Um, I don't really think she normally does timepieces. I can't recall any other than one, which is called Lawless, uh, which I do absolutely love. It's like more like the Old West and, and type type of book. And so that's one of my favorites as well. But I think I've been rambling on about <laughs> Nora Roberts for a while. This was less of a book haul and more of me fangirling over Nora Roberts. But yeah, really, really excited to have these books. And <sighs> very, very good birthday. So I'm going to leave you guys here. Remember to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on a thing. And watch out for those Throwback Thursday videos soon. And you'll get to see some of the other books I got. So anyway, happy reading everyone. Bye.